Okay, nice. So today, guys, we are going to do a pop quiz. What is a pop quiz? It is like a surprise laboratory. What is the pop quiz about, teacher? It's very easy because the pop quiz for today morning is just to continue practices, can't and cool so i'm going to send to all of you the link and look at this one look at this one guys this is the pod quiz it's very easy to get it okay okay so this is your pod quiz guys you're going to practice can can't cool and cooler okay this is not my attendance it this is not no 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 this is not my attendance it's a pod quiz what's the difference between pod quiz and laboratory do you know it what's the difference between pod quiz and laboratory yes five four three no, okay it's short exactly so it is shorter than laboratories okay this is one of the characteristics and another is when in the future when you work as an english teacher you have to recognize what's the difference between pop quiz laboratory and exams okay so for example a pop quiz is always a surprise laboratory and it is shorter and it is shorter than a laboratory or it is shorter than exam so the pop quiz you have to make sure your students never got the idea that they are going to do it. So this is your focus for today. So look at guys. I got from I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen exercises. And look at the look at the example. You are going to choose the correct one. Can, can't, cool, or cooling. And for example, this is just an example. A space. I use your phone, please. So the correct one is can. You are going to write it down in the space. Can. Be careful, guys, with the capital letter. Okay, if it's not necessary to use capital letters, obviously don't use it. But if you are going to and you recognize it is a question, please, guys, be careful with the capital letters. ¿Por qué menciono esto? Porque muchas veces cuando yo mando este tipo de, 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 de ejercicios, si, por ejemplo, en este caso, Aquí, que es una pregunta, yo necesito utilizar una capital letter. ¿Qué es una capital letter? Five, four, three, two, one. Una letra, letra mayúscula. mayúscula. Una letra mayúscula, exacto. Entonces, si yo voy a comenzar una hora, teacher, ¿por qué me lo tiro mal? O si, pues sí, como no estás respetando, en este caso, la gramática, que para en español es la ortografía. Entonces, desde ya le quiero decir eso para que no me diga después, teacher, eh, yo, eh, para mí está bueno, teacher. Ok, so, and when you finished, when you finish your pop quiz, remember, it got just 15 exercises. Look at, you are going to click on check answers. And teacher, what do we need to do? It's very simple. When you click on it, when you click on it, you are going to see the results. I mean, you are going to see the score. And please, the score is necessary to send to my private WhatsApp. Remember, as I said a few minutes ago, this is not my attendance. This is a pod quiz. Teacher, ¿y cuánto va a valer? Lo más que le voy a dar a eso son cinco centésimas. Lo más que le voy a dar, no le puedo dar más de, no le puedo dar un punto por eso. No, porque es un pod quiz. Hasta en eso también. Cuando ustedes lleven didáctica conmigo, yo les voy a enseñar la diferencia. Cómo se evalúa un pod quiz, cómo se evalúa un laboratorio, cómo se evalúa un examen. Yo no puedo decir que esto es un examen, es demasiado fácil para un examen. Yo no puedo decir que esto es un laboratorio, es demasiado fácil para un laboratorio. Entonces, los pod quiz siempre son como prácticas evaluadas. Yesterday, yes, for, yes, of course, I took it as an attendance, but today is a pod quiz. So, guys, any question? Everything is clear like Orchata? Five, four, three, two. Yes, okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Thank you, mister. I got just one student. Okay, so in the Zoom, in this chat, in the Zoom chat, excuse me, there is a link, okay? Look at, click on it and do it. So how much time do we have, teacher? What time is it? It's 9, 5 a.m. So I will give you until 9, 20 a.m. Señores, tienen aproximadamente 14 minutos. O sea que en este caso es un minuto, dos segundos, tres segundos por oración. Señores, please, let's do it.
Thank you, Alejandra. I got it. Now, please take some minutes to take a rest, okay? You need to wait for your classmate. Thank you, Gerardo, but this is just the first part. I need to have the completely, okay? Take a, sec a second picture, please, and show yes, me all yes. the results. Thank you, Miss. Yes, I am, I am taking another screenshot. Okay, <laughs> perfect, nice. Perfect. Thank you, Flora. I got it. Miss, uh, how can I get the score? How can I? No, just just take a picture showing me all the fifteen exercises with the answers. Oh. If the answer is correct, it's green. If the answer is wrong, it's red. Got it. Yeah. Thank you, Gerardo, much better, perfect. Yes, please, to my private WhatsApp, Catherine. Yes, of course, Gerardo, yes, now, yes, please. Para los que ingresaron tarde y no escucharon la indicación para mañana, pidan copia, porfa, pregúntenle a sus compañeros qué fue lo que la LIC dijo. Thank you, Lee. Bye. Bye. Um, Angel, please try to take a full picture, okay? Because the only that I see is from, ah, okay, there's a second one. Okay, let's try it. Okay, thank you, thank you, Angel, nice. Let's see, Juanjo. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Maria Jose. Yes, I got it, yes. Miss, if, if, can you check my my answer? Uh, I think the problem is with the apostrophe. Okay, let me check it, let me check it. Okay. I think it, it's double space. I don't know what happened here, but. 
Can I it, do it? Uh, do you want to try it again? Do you want it? We have time. Oh. We have six minutes left. If you want, you can try it again. I will try it. Yeah. To, to... Let me no, check. I... Let me check your partners. Let me check your partners. Yes, there is a space. When you want to write it down in apostrophe, there is a little space. That's the problem. Space. Yes. Uh -huh. That's the problem. If you want, you can try it again. But the answer is correct one. But if you want, you can try it. Would you like it? Yes. Okay, do it. Yes. We got six, five minutes left. Yeah. Thank you, Catherine. Easy, right? Yes, you're ready, my goodness. Yes, of course, you're ready for the partial. Thank you, Alejandra. <laughs> nice picture, nice picture. Miss Portillo. Thank you, Dita. Okay. Thank you, Diego. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there are three missing students. Three missing, okay guys, four minutes, just four minutes left. Thank you, Christy. Okay, guys, two minutes. Ah, okay. Well, Israel, number four, the detail is because you already used capital letter, number four, and it's not necessary to use capital letters in number four. You got it, Israel? Yeah, teacher. Entonces, por eso me la tira malo. Uh -huh, yes. Ah, okay. It is the same problem with number nine. It's not necessary oh. to use capital. Remember, we use capital letters at the beginning of the sentences, okay? Or for example, when we got a brand. What is brand? Cuando te vamos a mencionar una marca, por ejemplo, si vamos a poner eh, Michael Kors, por ejemplo, una marca en medio de una oración, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Nombres propios como los países, ahí sí, ¿verdad? pero en este caso es no necesario, ¿ok? That's the detail, that's the detail. Ok, teacher. Ok. Number 10, it is the same problem in Israel, capital letter. 
What is on that sign? I can, yes. I, but this is, oh, and obviously it is negative because say, I can see it, but no puedo ver bien. So negative, okay? But and it's not necessary to use capital letters too. So there are two mistakes, okay? There are two mistakes. I'm checking to all of you guys. I'm checking. Let me let me check Christina. Okay, the first one, number one is po is negative, and the second is positive, Christy. Okay, just one mistake. Perfect, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. Okay. Ay, si no entendía por qué me, me daba así error. <laughs> es que la oración es, por ejemplo, James no podía o no pudo utilizar una computadora cuando tenía tres años, pero ahora sí puede. Yeah. Okay, guys, so the time is over. Thank you so much. I already got all your pod quiz. Okay, guys, so just as a comment, okay? This is just as a comment, guys. Please follow me. Teacher. Yeah, yes, Rodri. Uh, what time, what minute have to send the picture, please? Uh, the time is over. Yeah, es the time is, uh -huh. Es que ya no había terminado, pero... No me acordaba cómo tomar la foto, por eso. Now, por please eso do it. Busqué. Yes, now, if you want, you can send to me now. Okay. Yes, yes please, no worries. No, 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 yes, yes, please, no worries. Okay, so, please, another comment, guys. So, five, four, three, two, okay. I have, I, I have a general comment. Number one, a pop quiz, one of the objectives to do pop quiz. Thank you, Angel, I got it, perfect. One of the objectives... Okay, okay. Angel number three, it is in number three you need to use capital letter because it's at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, pero ese es el tema general. Okay, yeah, the time is over. So the general comment is this one. One of the objectives to do pod quiz is to make sure if your students get the knowledge or if your students understand the topic. So the previous topic was can, cool, can't, and couldn't. Okay, so my objective for today morning is, I don't, I really want to know if you got all the knowledge, if you can handle the topic, okay? Si usted ya puede manejar ese tema. But my second objective is, guys, it's necessary to practice your writing. It's necessary to practice your writing because when you practice your writing, remember, uh, at the same time, you are practicing your grammar, guys. Be careful with the capital letters. Be careful with the commas. Be careful with the apostrophe. Be careful with the space. Okay? So, be, because it is necessary to practice. Why, teacher? Because, obviously, when you write down, you are practicing your grammar, too. In my case, I don't care about Palmer. Yo no me, no me preocupo de la, de la letra Palmer que nos pedían antes, ¿verdad? No, 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 I'm, I'm not checking that, okay? I'm not measuring that. I'm measuring your knowledge, your knowledge, okay? And what is knowledge? Knowledge is not just if you can or if you cannot speak about any topic. Knowledge is also when you know how to write down, okay? What's your level at grammar? Remember, guys, as a teacher, as an English teacher, or grammar, it is the same as orthographia in Spanish. Okay, so I need to continue. Okay, guys. So yesterday and one week ago, we were discussing and learning one of the modal verbs that is can and cool. But now we are going to continue practicing and learning about must how to and should. Look at, please, and try to follow me, guys. Okay, what is must? When do we know, when do we need to use have to? And what's the difference between must and have to to compare with should? Okay, so for example, in general, as a general information, we use must for obligation when you don't have an option or oh, it is yes or is yes must is when we need to do it 
if you want it or if you don't want it. 100%. Must is like a when I say you must respect your parents. Listen to me, please pay attention. You must respect. Look at the verb, respect. It's not you must to, re no, 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 no. You must to respect, it. no way. Just subject, modal verb, and base verb. You must. You must. Y el verbo cae normal. You must respect. You must study. You must respect the law. Okay. What about have to? Have to is 50-50%. ¿Cómo así, teacher? 50-50. Have to is when you, for example, if you want, you can do it, or if you want, you cannot. It's like a, for example, if you want to have money, you have to work, but it's your option. If you are going to take your English test, you have to study if you want. In presential classes, in presential classes, if you want, okay, you have to write all the information down if you want it. Como les decía ayer, si usted quiere, usted puede copiar, usted no puede copiar. Entonces, el have to es eso. Si usted quiere, lo hace, si usted quiere, no lo hace. Es obviamente es aplicado para todos los sujetos. Yo ahorita lo estoy haciendo en primera persona, que somos nosotros. What about should? Should is when you want to give us a, an advice, for example. What is advice, guys? Five, four, three. Consejo. Exactly. A. You should go to the doctor if you feel sick. No puedo decir you must, porque yo no lo puedo obligar a ir al doctor. Pero como recomendación, no. you have to go to the doctor. Ok, sí, o sea, te doy la opción si querés, anda donde el doctor, si querés, no vaya, o sea, ahí, ahí si vos querés, y va. Pero el should es cuando, hey, mira, te aconsejo que deberías ir al doctor porque yo te veo que estás enfermo. You should go. Y lo mismo, escuche el verbo. Sujeto, you. Modo auxiliar, should. Verbo, go. No se dice you should to go. No se dice you should going. El verbo cae normal. El único que lleva en este caso, el to, es el have to. Pero en el caso de must y en el caso de should, el verbo cae normal. Por ejemplo, I have to play. We have to cook chicken today. They have to go to the chore today morning. So, but what about must and should? It's not necessary to use to. Pregunta, señoras, hasta ahorita. Okay, no one. Thank you so much. Okay, look at look at the example. Iba a poner a que lo leyeran ustedes, pero quiero que por favor me sigan. Voy a apagar acá porque me tapa toda la pantalla. Okay, so look at the example. Let's start with the have to. And then we are going to continue with must. And then we are going to continue with should. Look at have to. We have I, you, we, and they. I have to. This is positive. I have to work hard. This is positive. Negative. I don't have to work hard. Look at we. We have to work hard. Negative. We don't have to work hard. Look at they. They have to work hard. Negative. They don't have to work hard. Ahora bien. Look at the main verb. What is the main verb? Work. Work. Don't right. have to. Uh -huh. It's just the auxiliary. It's just the auxiliary. Look at the main verb. We don't have an extra S. It is not the structure using ING. No way. Respetamos el verbo tal cual como está. Dicho ya lo dijo 10 veces. Pues sí, pero es que si no lo digo 10 veces no se les queda. Después ahí me están poniendo working. 
Si esta tercera persona me pone en works. No way, it's not necessary. So, look at with the third person. He, she, it. He has. Ah. He has. No, he has, ¿verdad? It is the same. Modal verb. Pero cuando es un verbo modal, teacher, they have to. Aplica para las terceras personas. No. Cambia la estructura. Si no deja. El de hecho que diga aquí has to. No deja de ser un verbo modal. Se respeta la regla. Terceras personas. He has to. She has to. It has to. Y el verbo cae igual, como siempre. Example. He has to work hard. Negari. He doesn't have to work hard. Uy, tiche, pero ahí está malo porque ahí tendría que decir he doesn't has. ¿Por qué no ponemos aquí has? Why? Five, four, three, two. Because we got an auxiliary verb. What is the auxiliary? Doesn't. The negative auxiliary verb is doesn't. Yo no puedo decir en la estructura del inglés. En negativo, yo no puedo decir Alison doesn't has. No, porque ya tengo a alguien que me ayuda a modificar. ¿Por qué? Porque el doesn't ya me representa que estoy hablando de una tercera persona. No entendí, teacher, se lo explico nuevamente. Yo tengo las terceras personas, las terceras personas he, she, it. Yo puedo reemplazar he, yo puedo reemplazar he por Diego, puedo reemplazar she por reina y puedo reemplazar it por un objeto, un animal, etc. Recuerden eso, o sea, no es regla que solo he, she, it. Yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, Diego has to work hard. Negativo, Diego doesn't. Ya el doesn't está en tercera persona, por ende, el siguiente verbo cae normal. Ah, ya entendí, teacher. Preguntas, five, four, three, two, and one. Ok, look at Miss, the... Yes, please. We hasn't. It is another way, yes, it is another way to use it, hasn't. Hasn't to. It is possible to. Yes, mm -hmm. it is possible to, yes, of course. Another question, my dearest, five. Four, three, two. What's the difference between has or doesn't have or like a hasn't? The structure is just the structure. The main, the mainly form is this one. This is the mainly the most common, okay? But, but yes, it is. It is possible. So look at the equation, guys. Look at the equation. Sígame que esto viene en el parcial. Sígame que esto viene en el parcial. Observe. Do y does. For example, do I have to work hard? Does he have to work hard? Perdón ahí por la huella que van a escuchar. Por favor, ahí va. estamos en clases virtuales. Pero no voy a apagar el micrófono porque voy a perder el tiempo y no me gusta. Ok, so, observe. It is the same. We use do with I, you, we, and they. We use does with he, she, It. Eso usted ya lo sabe. Eso se, ve, eso se ve siempre al inicio de la carrera. Entonces, ahora bien, cuando yo quiero hacer la pregunta como, ¿tengo yo que hacer esto? ¿Do I have to? Por ejemplo, ¿tengo que cocinar hoy? ¿Cómo diríamos? ¿Tengo que cocinar hoy? ¿Do I have to cook, Do I have I have to cook today? ¿Do I have to cook today? ¿Tiene Alejandra que cocinar hoy? Do does. Does, Alejandra. does Alejandra have to cook today? Excelente, solo dos alumnos tengo hoy. Thank you, thank you, Flor, thank you, Angel. So, bien, entonces, cuando yo voy a hacer en pregunta, el auxiliar siempre en este caso tiene que ser do para I, you, we, they, y tiene que ser does para he, she, it. ¿Queda claro esta parte? Five, four, three, yes, two. teacher. Yes, Vamos a ver yes. si... Vamos a ver si es cierto, porque yo no les creo el 50%. Vámonos al chat de Zoom, démosle y pongo la opción privado. Eh, elíjame solo a mí para que no vean la respuesta de sus demás compañeros. Póngame ahí un, un hello para saber que ya me tiene ahí en privado en el chat de Zoom, en el chat de Zoom. Póngame un hello en privado. Excelente, thank you. Thank you, Alejandra Portillo. Thank you, Ale, hola, Isola. Thank you, Flor. Thank you, Israel, Catherine. Ok, ya entendimos muy bien. Tradúzcame la siguiente oración. 
Yo tengo que estudiar para el examen de mañana. Tradúzcame, obviamente, inglés. Yo tengo que estudiar para el examen de mañana. Yo tengo que estudiar para... Voy a, voy a calificar no solo, gram, no solo la parte... Eh, bueno, el punto que voy a calificar las, las capiraleras, porque vemos que tenemos problemas con las capiraleras. Yo tengo que estudiar para el examen de mañana. Démosle, señores, démosle. Thank you, Angel. Si solo le digo thank you, it means like a your sentence is correct. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Thank you, Rodrigo Alexander. Thank you, Juanjo. Thank you, Christy. It's, it's, it's not a question, okay? It's not a question. It's just simple. Yo tengo que estudiar para el examen de mañana. Israel, it's not a question, okay? Oh, okay, teacher. Your sentence, uh, your sentence is correct. Yes, except except with except because the the question mark is missing. Except. Thank you, Portillo. Thank you, Dominguez. Thank you, Majo. Thank you, Reina. Thank you, Flor. Thank you, Hola Isola. Thank you, Catherine. Páseme la negativo. No tengo que estudiar para el examen de mañana. Excellent, Israel. Perfect. Negativo. Páseme la negativo. La misma oración, pero en negativo. No tengo que estudiar. Ok, thank you, Reina. Vamos con las negativas ya. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Diego. Thank, thank, thanks, Israel. Israel. Ok. Thank you. Si, me, si se me pasa alguien, me dice. Thank you, Juanjo. Juanjo is Johnny, right? <laughs> Hey, let me know, Juanjo. You're Johnny, right? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Nice. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank you, Flor. Thank you, Christy. Nice. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Teacher, ¿y por qué le dice así a ella? Porque ella lo escribió de las dos formas. De la forma larga y la forma contractada. Thank you. Perfect, María José. Now, finalicemos. Thank you, Rodri. Excelente, perfect, nice, me encanta, señores, son muy buzos ustedes, muy inteligentes, me encanta. Thank you, perfect. Ok, páseme la pregunta y con eso finalizamos. Cuando diga su nombre, se va retirando del salón y nos vamos a echar el café. Démosle. Now, please, question four. In positive or negative? Uh, positive, please. Good question, thank you. Yes, positive. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Israel, thank you. See you at 10. Thank I, you, Ale. Thank you, Maria I Jose. Can, I, can thank you. The, I, I can put the question mark. Yes, it is the same problem with Diego. <laughs> Diego, you forgot the question mark. Be careful with the question mark. It's <laughs> muy bien, Diego. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, because, that, yes, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> y lo que me encanta es que Diego me manda el question mal aparte. <laughs> Do I have to start for tomorrow? Ok, thank you, Alejandra. Ok, sí, señores, muy bien. Ya, ya hemos agarrado el tema. Perfecto. No, no, no. Thank you so much. Chicos, un placer. Nos vemos a las 10 con 1, ok. Nos vemos a las 10 con 1. Vamos a echarnos el cafecito. Bye.